My great grandfather, he was so good at his work that he was one of the richest people. His warehouse was filled till the head. But one day he finds a book, the recipe of making gold. He switched all his labor in a thought that he will achieve gold one day. From non-metal to metal, my respectable grandfather's team traveled to different parts of the country to gather required agents. After a few months or year or so, the process was closed. Some say the book was buried. Some say that we don't want to speak. But what I'm pretty sure that he was too close to it. To me, a question always arises. Can gold be created from other metals? In 1903, physicist Ernest Rutherford and Frederick Sodi noticed that thorium in their lab converted itself into radium. Thorium is a radioactive element, meaning its nucleus is unstable. In Frederick Sodi and Rutherford lab, when thorium went to an alpha decay, it loses two of its proton, mean remaining are 88, and 88 protons found to be in radium. Thorium changed itself to radium. Okay then, I have some mercury and it has 80 protons, only one more than gold. Can we make gold from it? In 1923, a Japanese physicist, Hantarago Nagaoka, realizes that it might be possible to turn mercury into gold. He believed that he can rip some extra atoms from mercury by applying 15,000 volts of electricity to mercury. After conducting the experiment, he detected a small amount of gold in the residue, but that was only one billionth and billionth of a gram of gold. Another scientist, Adolf Mathi, performed similar experiment by looking Nagaoka. But he wants to file a patent for it, but his patent got failed because other scientists won't actually sure that mercury can turn into gold. But in 1940s, researchers bombarded atoms of mercury to release particles. But bombarding the particle makes the particle radioactive. Which is definitely not the kind of gold that anyone wants to wear. A radioactive gold. These methods are complicated than mining gold itself. And expensive too. A lot of you has often seen me reading this book, Weird But True. How to Hypnotize a Chicken by Dominique and Wright. But in this book, there is a page, an alchemist recipe for making gold. And our work begins. We noted all the things that we need, but there is a caveat. The names were totally different. We went on the internet and I guess that's the best place to find some chemical names. And some of them we totally did. But how to kind of like name copper sulfate as vitriol in ancient times? It was too difficult a lot of the time. And there were a lot of chemicals that we can't even search. Other than those we can't search on the internet. We fired a virtual chemical simulator in a hope that we will get something out of nothing. And the most famous, yeah, the most famous chemical simulator failed. We tried until the battery drained. Nuclear experiments has successfully transmuted lead into gold, but its expense exceeds far any gain. Scientists are still performing these types of experiment even though you think it's foolishness or not. All of the gold that we have mined in the history could be capped in three Olympic-sized swimming pools. But I don't want to leave you in a blind guess. Can we create gold? Yes, we can produce it. By using a particle accelerator. But it's not a good solution. The amount of energy that will require to run a particle accelerator 
will definitely be more than the amount of gold we will get in the resultant. One day will surely come when our experimentation could be capable to produce enough amount of gold. But until then, thanks for watching.